Hey guys, you are watching Droid Crunch. I am Lokesh Kapoor and in this video, we are going to talk about Restrict Content Pro WordPress plugin. This plugin is a very easy to use membership plugin for WordPress users. Using this plugin, you can easily restrict the access of specific content to your uh, members or to the free users and you can easily uh, make it accessible to the paid members and they can view it and this way you can monetize your content you can grow your membership website with a light e-commerce solution as well there are plenty of features if i click here you can see that it is a powerful content restriction and membership levels are there there is a content paywalls member access control you have you can easily uh, manage the members the built-in member account dashboard there are customizable member emails options available there is a woocommerce certification there are popular payment methods that are accepted and the integration to those are also available like stripe paypal authorize.net and all that you have discount code option so that you can <coughs> improve your click through rate or the conversions about um, these memberships and there is a very detailed reports available there are some add-ons by using those add-ons you can enable some of or more of these features there's a prorated memberships available as well so without wasting any time let me show you how this plugin works i have installed the plugin on um, this testing website and you can see it right there and after installing you will have a couple of pages created in your pages and you can access this uh, plugin right here here are some settings the add-ons you can see help center tools reports and settings four of these are not used quite often but most often you will be you know dealing with these options so first let us quickly head over to settings option and here you can uh, assign the registration page welcome page which is you know uh, redirected when the user is stirred and the account page and an edit profile page update willing card page and you can also set the auto renewal behavior and for the levels you have and the message for the restricted content so when the content is hidden this message will be shown i have utilized the template from elementor and used a shortcut here so whatever the design this shortcut is having will be displayed to the members who don't have access to the content right and you have then some payment options you can set the currency you want the currency position it's the gateways that you want there are plenty of gateways available like menu payment stripe paypal standard paypal express paypal pro and braintree and you can connect it with your stripe you can set the statement descriptor statement descriptor suffix and all of the settings about the payment uh, you can easily set them up there is a documentation available so if you have any issues with the setting up of these integrations you can easily head over to the support or the documentation and easily get it integrated with the website and general settings you can see <coughs> all the email templates the email header logo you can set the form name from email admin notification email and all of these or have some template tags or variables that you can use right in your templates or the email body you can say and <coughs> set all the email related settings once you set up with the email related settings you can head over to invoices and set the settings for the invoices as well and here's some miscellaneous settings about restrictions you can hide restricted posts <coughs> from queries when the user doesn't have the access and you can redirect the to the specific page right that you have and you can also redirect the default login url after checking this option uh, it will force the default login url to redirect to the page specified that is here okay uh, and then you have auto add users to the level so whenever a user is uh, you know uh, having any membership it will assign to a specific level 
uh, I have only one membership level currently uh, otherwise I will be having more options in this drop down and then you have this content excerpt option to decide for each post individually or always show excerpt or never show the excerpts um, it is for the members who don't have the access okay and then you have some discount sign up fees option and then you have disable wordpress toolbar um, for the members okay and this is not for the user with added post capability okay and you can also disable the form css agree to terms option in the registration page and the label for that and the terms link for that you will assign these three settings are for the same one and the agree to policy like the terms and recapture settings and some debug and subscription related settings so let us quickly head over to the subscription levels and here i have created one membership level you can create more levels right here by writing a name for example business and a description about that and you can set your access level for example if you choose six here then this membership will allow the member to see all the posts that have the access to six for example if a post is having access to seven uh, or if a member is having access to seven all the posts that uh, have access to any of these seven eight nine ten will be accessible by the user having this membership so this is the access level and then you can enable the duration uh, the length of time for this membership level for example 30 days and you can set the maximum renewals how many times so uh, this uh, you know plan can be uh, renewed and you can also set a free trial duration for example 7 days or 14 days for whatever time you want and the user or the member will not be charged for that period and you can set a pricing if it is set to zero then it is, it is free and then you have some set sign up fees and the status of this membership level and the user role and that is assigned to the member okay now uh, if i go to the memberships i can easily add the customers okay the customers from here i can set an email of that customer the membership level and all of that so i can easily manually add the memberships right now if i go to any of the posts okay and hey if i go to this page this post uh i can write in text let's see if it can write okay it wrote it for me so now here are the settings related to restricted content pro you have option to set the access options so if you choose to everyone the restriction would not work but if you set it to members of membership levels and set it to any membership level for example uh, there are three membership levels and this option is enabled then the user of any membership level will not be able to access the content until he's having the membership and then you have option for any paid membership level and then you have option to restrict the content for any specific membership level for example premium that i have and uh, then you can also set it to require members to have capability from this specific any of these roles and then you have this additional option to show except to the member without access to content and that setting you also have in the settings option settings tab okay and you can optionally use the restrict paid to uh, this Kind of short code restricted partial content and you can see all the documentation regarding this in their documentation okay and you can also set a parameter called message and you can write there in the message that will be shown and the content inside these uh, these brackets will be the content that will be shown that can be short code or anything like this okay so let me just 
uh, update this page for now and if I go over here and paste it right there then the content is being shown right but if I copy it from here and paste it right here on a different browser I can see this content okay because the content is restricted and this design uh, is shown from the settings because in settings I have this short code right here 398 and if I go to uh, my templates here this 398 you can see I have this template right here I have linked it to a registration page okay so that user can easily register and uh, get access to the content and uh, apart from these settings you also have option to restrict the access to any specific role for any of these options for example if i want i can uh, disable the access to pages for any specific uh, member or user role for a certain role for example uh, the students or for example the editors and authors cannot access the pages post type and uh, for posts i can also restrict it and likewise there are options in other post types as well to restrict access uh, so this is uh, how this plugin works talking about the support if you have anything like you want to uh, be stuck with something you are stuck then you can use the to your support you can see uh, all the troubleshooting related issues and discount codes payment gateways all of these short codes are right here so about the restrict you can head over to this documentation you will see all the details about this short code how to utilize it where to utilize it and all of these settings and talking about the pricing it's very very affordable uh, based on what it offers on the table if you are using it on one site you have to pay only $99 for a complete year and you have all the basic content restrictions and membership features you have pro only features you have 30 pro add-ons and a massive with a very massive value of $2,220 and you have the plugin updates uh, for one year and you have private ticketed support system so that you can uh, create tickets to the support here okay this is the form basically but you can uh, create tickets as well in the support okay on this page here if you go and then you can raise your tickets okay by logging in then if you want to have it for more websites then you can opt for this five website plan as well and if you want to uh, if you're an agency and want to utilize the plugin for many many websites for your clients as well then you can go for an unlimited plan of course and uh, talking about its pros and cons it is a uh, very very useful plugin but only for those who are in need of it uh, because uh, there are like multiple other options as well um, to restrict the content for example you have some visibility features uh, available with some uh, extensions like Croco Block, Dynamic O, you can easily hide and show the content. So, if you have to consider your need, you have to consider the requirement that you have, and only if you are looking for a better memberships and you want to uh, charge on a basically uh, recurring basis, then you can go for it and you have a good member base. Uh, otherwise uh, this is not a very uh, affordable plugin for a newbie so you will have to consider this as well so i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please uh, let me know in comments and keep watching my channel for watching more videos like this i will be back with the next video very soon thank you